If you are repeating the same tasks on a monthly basis, you can consider creating a recurring monthly schedule. This will help you to plan your tasks ahead of time and manage your work hours efficiently. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hatibul Pasha and today I'll demonstrate how to create a recurring monthly schedule in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. Let's quickly refresh our idea about the recurring monthly schedule. This is a schedule that contains the time and the date as well as the names of the tasks that you perform on a monthly basis. In this worksheet, I will create a recurring monthly schedule that includes the year and the month number. In column B, I will set the time of the day and in row 7, I will insert the day and the date of the month. So, first of all, go to cell B5 and type the year 2023. Next, I will insert the month number for September. The month number is 9. Next, I will set the time. So, go to cell B8 as I will start recording my time from 9 am. So, type 9 am. Now, let me use the autofill feature to complete the time column. And this completes the time column. I will record the time from 9 am to 6 pm. In row 7, I will insert the day followed by the date. As I want the day and the date to be appeared in a custom format, that is the first three letters of the day followed by the two digits of the date. So, I will apply custom formatting in row 7. So, select the cells C7 to AF7. Then, you can apply the custom formatting in two ways. You can press Ctrl plus 1 to open the format cells window, alternatively, you can go to the home tab from the numbers section, click on this drop down icon. Here you will find the available number formats. As I will apply a custom format, so click on more number formats. This opens the format cells window. From the number tab in the category section, to set the custom format, click on custom and you can see the default type is general. In the type field, I will set the custom type. So, for the first three letters of the day, type triple D, space for the two digits of the date, type D and D. Finally, click on OK to apply the formatting to the cells. The formatting is applied to the cells. Now, I will use the date function to get the day and the date of the month September 2023. So, go to cell C7, type equal, date. The date function returns the number for the day. Press tab to autocomplete the date function. As the year argument of the date function, select the cell B5 that contains the year 2023, place a comma. As the month argument, select the cell C5 that contains the month number, place a comma. As the day argument, as I will start counting my day from day 1, so type 1 and close the parenthesis. Finally, hit enter. You can see this formula has returned Friday 01, that is the starting day of the month September 2023. To get the following day, Go to cell D7, type equal, click on the cell C7 and add 1 with this and hit enter. This formula is supposed to return Saturday 02 in cell D7. However, the cell is not large enough to fit the entire value. So, to get the clear view of the values of row 7, select the cells C7 to AF7. Then, I'll change the orientation. So, move to the home tab from the alignment section. Click on this drop down icon of the orientation. Here you will find different available options to orient the cell values. I want my cell values to run on an upward direction. For that reason, I will choose the option Rotate Text Up. As a result, now you can see Saturday 02 in cell D7. Now, let me use the autofill feature to complete the day and date. We have got all the date and the day. Let me adjust the row height to fit all the values. The day and date row is complete now and this completes the structure of our monthly schedule. You can further customize the structure of the schedule. For example, if you want to distinguish the weekends from the weekday, you can change the field color of the weekends. In our case, Saturday and Sunday are the weekends. So, select the cells D7 to E7, press Ctrl and select the cells K7 to L7. Next, select the cells R7 to S7. Then, select the cells Y7 to Z7. Finally, select the cell AF7. Now, I will change the fill color of these cells. So, go to the Home tab. From the Font section, 
click on this drop down icon of the fill color. Here you will find different available colors to fill the cells. You can choose any color according to your choice. In my case, I'll choose this shade of green. This will distinguish the weekends from the weekdays. Now we are ready to insert the name of the task. So go to cell C8 and insert the task for Friday 9 a.m. In this case, I'll type task 1. Then I'll type task 2. Next, task 3. Finally, task 4. In this way, you can insert the name of the task for a single day. One thing I should mention here that the sale of the weekends will be blank. So, I'll fill the values of the weekdays with the task name from task 1 to 4. So, let me quickly fill up this monthly schedule manually. This is the monthly schedule for September 2023. I have inserted the task name manually. However, you can use VVA code to insert the name of the task. This will be helpful if you perform the same task regularly. For example, I'll insert task 1 in the cells F16 to J16 using VVA. To insert the VVA code, first of all, you need to enable the developer tab. To do so, right click on the ribbon and choose the option customize the ribbon. This opens the Excel options window. From the customize ribbon section, in the main tabs option, check developer. Finally, click on OK. This enables the developer tab. Now, to write the code, go to the code section and click on Visual Basic or press Alt plus F11 to open the code editor. This opens the Microsoft Visual Basic window. If you want to write a code that will work on all the worksheets of a workbook, then you need to write the code in a module. So to insert the module, first of all, go to the Insert tab and click on Module. As a result, Module 1 is inserted. Now, in the code editor, you can write your code. I have copied the code from the article. You will find the link of the article in the description box. Now, let me paste the code by pressing Ctrl plus V. This is the code to fill the cells F16 to J16 with the task name Task1. Let me briefly explain the code to you. I have declared option explicit to explicitly declare all the variables that I will use in this code. I have used two variables, the string type variable task value and the integer type variable column. The task value variable will hold the name of the task that I will insert in the cells and the column variable is used to set the column number of the cells. I have inserted task1 as the value of the task value variable. This is because I want to insert task1 in the cells F16 to J16. You should insert your task name in the task value variable. Then I have used a for loop to fill the cells F16 to J16 with the value task01. For that reason, I have used a column variable with the value 6 to 10 with an increment of 1, where 6 represents column F and column J is represented by 10. Then I have used cells.value property to insert the task value in the associated cell. So this code will insert the value task1 in the cells F16 to J16. Now to run the code, you can click on this play icon or press F5. As I have executed the code, you can see cells F16 to J16 are filled with the value task1. In this way, you can use VVA macro to fill the monthly schedule automatically. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating a recurring month schedule in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blogs. Or you can share your Excel-related issues in our ExcelDemy forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye!